determine the view window for each function and sketch each graph. In part A, we'll graph f of x equals 12 sine pi over 3 times x minus 2 minus 14. Before we can draw this graph, we need to inspect the parameters to determine an appropriate view window. Let's begin with the x-axis settings. The period can be found with the formula p equals 2 pi over b. Plug in pi over 3 for b. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. The pi's cancel, giving us a period of 6 units. The c value is positive 2, so there is a phase shift 2 units right. The goal is to see at least one complete sine cycle in our graph. Start at x equals 0. If the period is 6 units, and the graph is shifted 2 units right, we need 8 units on the x-axis. The x-axis window settings are x min equals 0, x max equals 8, and x scale equals 1. There are not that many ticks, so use a scaling of 1 unit. Now we'll determine the y-axis settings. The amplitude of the graph is 12. The vertical displacement is negative 14. The goal is to see both the minimum and maximum when we draw the graph. The minimum occurs at d minus a. Negative 14 minus 12 equals negative 26. The maximum occurs at d plus a. Negative 14 plus 12 equals negative 2. The y-axis window settings are y min equals negative 26, y max equals 0, and y scale equals 2. For y max, use 0 instead of negative 2. This will let us include the x-axis in our sketch. Use a scaling of two units to prevent tick crowding. Now that we have the appropriate window settings, we can draw the axes for the graph. Sketch the graph. Now we'll draw the graph using technology. Adjust the window settings as shown. Next, input the function. Finally, draw the graph. In part B, we'll draw the graph of f of x equals negative 25 cos pi over 250 times x plus 225 plus 50. Before we can draw this graph, we need to inspect the parameters to determine an appropriate view window.
Let's begin with the x-axis settings. The period can be found with the formula p equals 2 pi over b. Plug in pi over 250 for the b value. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Cancel the pi's to get a period of 500 units. The c value is negative 225, so there is a phase shift 225 units to the left. The goal is to see at least one complete cosine cycle in our graph. The phase shift is 225 units left, so x min equals negative 225. The period is 500 units, so x max equals negative 225 plus 500, which is equal to 275. The x-axis window settings are x min equals negative 225, x max equals 275, and x scale equals 25. Use a scaling of 25 units to prevent tick crowding. Now we'll find the y-axis settings. The amplitude is 25 units. There is also a reflection in the x-axis. The vertical displacement is 50 units up. The goal is to see both the minimum and maximum when we draw the graph. The minimum occurs at d minus a. 50 minus 25 equals 25. The maximum occurs at d plus a. 50 plus 25 equals 75. The y-axis window settings are y min equals 0, y max equals 75, and y scale equals 25. Set y min equal to 0 instead of 25 so we can see the x-axis. Use a scaling of 25 units to prevent tick crowding. Now that we have the appropriate window settings, we can draw the axes for the graph. Sketch the graph. Now we'll draw the graph using technology. Adjust the window settings as shown. Next, input the function. Finally, draw the graph.